What's up, everybody? Zach here um, with the Seemingly Unknown podcast. Um, the episode three is going to have some edits in it that are probably hard cuts. Um, we were discussing a subject matter that ne- not necessarily was sensitive, but it was something that as we were discussing it, more news had come to light. So we decided just to cut it out just to be safe. Um, in this world that we live in today, uh, you can never be too safe with things like this. Um, it is a bummer because I felt like it was a very real subject matter that we're discussing, and maybe one day it will come back out. But for this particular purpose, we're going to leave it out. Um, so you may see some hard edits, some hard cuts. Um, big thanks to J.R. Moore who had to edit this very last minute as, uh, you know, this we can't keep discussing what we were discussing at the time. But um, maybe one day it'll come out whenever when everything kind of folds out in the wash. Uh, it isn't about me or anyone on the podcast. It was a, a discussion about a friend of ours. And um, we were just trying to play it safe. And, uh, you know, we you, there's there's way too much cancellation happening. So uh, we didn't want to look like we were being insensitive to a certain subject matter. But um, anyway, uh, so there, there are probably some weird cuts in this. Anyway, enjoy episode three, and we will see you uh, probably um, next week. Uh, who knows? We may, If we even make it to next week. And welcome back to the Seemingly Unknown podcast, or uh, if you, this is your first time, welcome to the Seemingly Unknown podcast, episode three. We have made it to episode three. People have actually heard two episodes of this thing, and we're still here. Blows my mind. That is amazing <laughs> to me. I, 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 like, I, I like the trajectory of the from episode one to two. Like, it seems like we're kind of uh, figuring out how this is uh, going to work. Yeah, for sure. John actually can record his own audio now. That's a new thing. Yep. And uh, actually, I'm actually here now. The other two, I had a stunt double. And so oh, okay. like, it's really, it feels really <laughs> in home right now. I love that your stunt double st- still wore those giant headphones. Yeah. He, uh, he, he works at uh, Five Below. And so the Skull Candy uh, discount <laughs> came into play. Oh. And today's sponsor for the episode is actually Five Below. Uh, stop by Five Below <laughs> for all of your... <laughs> All of hey, you can I, I like five below. I'm gonna be honest. I, I tell I you know, what, man, that, that, that store is amazing. I, we've got one here. I've actually never been to it. You need really? to go. It's it's great for like. Uh, I think I bought all my stocking stuffers for Cadence from there. Like I'm more of like I'm like a Dollar General guy. I mean, this is not. Yeah, I mean, all right. This is like the target of dollar stores. Let's put it that way. What's oh, okay. the difference between Dollar General and Dollar Tree? There's dollar like, Tree is cheaper, right? Dollar. Tree is cheaper, I believe. Yeah, yeah, it's actually a dollar, which is fine. It, right. Dollar general, it's it's generally a dollar. Five it's, below. So what's five below? Everything's below five dollars. Yeah, give, or, five t- give or take. Yeah. Okay, then that doesn't that that doesn't make sense with the name. I mean, dollar general. I mean, it's That's generally it's a dollar. Generally but, a dollar, but five uh, below is very specific. Dollar general actually, is okay, and like same with Dollar Tree, right? Ooh. The Dollar Tree, there could be a couple couple dollars on the tree that you need to pay we're, for we're off to a great deals. start already so yeah, I, I actually honestly well i'm not right now i mean i figured it out but when i first walked to the store i'm like man it actually feels cooler in here like maybe the temperature is a little bit like yeah, chillier different. they have more they have more money to throw around <laughs> whenever yeah. you walked in that store it was actually five below zero like, <laughs> yes. you just walked in there like god damn, it's fucking freezing in here what isn't that an ice like, bar in like, vegas dude why is this jump rope 30 dollars like no the store nothing's five <laughs> nothing's oh, five below it's here. just it, the it, temperature it's store cold yeah <laughs> Yeah, like even the soda's frozen. Back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's what it's for. You know, I'm gonna start a meat. Set. I'm gonna start a meat store called Five Below. So, the, uh, <laughs> they they do like pastrami and like cold cuts there. No, they do. for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's dude. So stupid. <laughs> what did you guys do this weekend? Oh God, I watched that movie, The Love Guru. Cause it was on, uh, Have you never Prime. Seen that before? <laughs> no, I saw it. I saw it before. And then there was probably like a reason <laughs> that you never saw it before. <laughs> I was really curious why it wasn't a blockbuster just out the gate, but, it's, uh, it's tried, too hard. <laughs> it's tried too hard to be a new Austin powers. And yeah, I think correct. that's what I think that's they kind of ruined it. Because he, yeah. I think they just kind of, John, what'd that, you do that character? What'd you do, John? You didn't get on Instagram uh, and drink after last week's episode. No. So I, 
I tweeted. I haven't drank since. I tweeted <laughs> on our seemingly unknown uh, oh, I saw page someone. or whatever. And I was like, hey, if this gets 300 likes or retweets, like combined, I guess, I will do karaoke on our uh, Instagram <laughs> page. But we? only got to like 52, something combined. I mean, pretty lackluster. I'm kind of disappointed. I was ready. Um, Come on, people. I, we need to pick this up. <laughs> yeah, we can get I that. Had some, we can I had get a good... I wanted to do some DMX, uh, Leon <laughs> Rhymes, and uh, some Tower of Power. But, you know, man, I mean, maybe next week. That would have been good. <laughs> I think that would have been great. I had uh, our friend, our, our our good friend Chris Porter was in town, uh, flew in town just to hang and kind of have a relaxing weekend. We just kind of stayed at the house and made How food. was the uh, Grizzlies game? It was really weird. There was only like 400 people in there. My seats where I normally sit were covered by, you know, the banners that are like on the floor that cover. So yeah. Range. It felt weird. Like looking down at my seats. Like I felt this weird, like nostalgia of like, man, I really wish I, I missed my seats, you know? So like that was kind of weird, but like it was cool. Like it was, it was fun to be in there. It's been a year since I've been to a Grizzlies game. It's the longest time I, it's in, in between games. It's ever been since the Grizzlies have been here for 20 years. You know, it was just, it was weird. You know what it also made me realize that like sitting where I sat, which was a little like higher up than I normally sit, it was actually, there's like not a bad seat in our arena. So I kind of, I, I so did. You, you had to sit with the peasant folks is what you're saying. I mean, there was no peasant folks to be set. I mean, there was 400 <laughs> people in a 20,000 seat arena. I mean, it was very, but yeah, no, I, it, I was like, man, I, I kind of like these seats. I, you know, I bought tickets on StubHub. It was it was kind of like a last minute thing where me and Porter went. And oh, okay, it was. I mean, I it was, think it that's was, the that might be the best opportunity when someone's the free throw line since it's so little people to say the most ridiculous <laughs> stuff because everyone's going to hear it. I thought. Well, here's <laughs> the thing: like where I normally sit, I normally sit in the first row across from the visitor bench, and like I hear things getting thrown out all game long, like. I mean, just brutal, nothing bad, nothing like, you know, if it was something like ridiculous or, you know, racist, I would, I would turn around and say something, but like, I mean, just brutal. And it's the funny, I've always talked about this. The funny thing about that is like, it's, it's like the same thing as the internet, right? Like you're not good. Like you would never say this shit to this six foot eight guy. God, no. Like Iron Man. Like you would never say that in person. Like, but these dudes, like they, I think that it's like, there's something about, it's like the internet, man. It's like, they know they have this thing to hide behind. Like that. They, they know that DeMarcus cousins is not going to punch them in the face. Keyboard, like keyboard DeMarcus, warriors. But I'll tell you, you what, Ron Artest just might. So <laughs> Ron Artest <laughs> might punch you in the face. That's a, his name is a metal world piece. Let's have some respect. Um, yeah, sorry. But I, I think we should, I think if we ever, if this ever just blows up this podcast and we can end up doing a sketch comedy show, I want to make it where there's no, it's a no rules NBA. And if you talk smack, a player could just physically punch you if you wanted to. And there'd be no ramifications. No, there shouldn't be anyways. <laughs> I, mean, I agree the, with you. In the seventies, those AHL hockey teams and fans, they'd go in the crowd and get some real fights. I mean, that's, that's why I still have hockey. Cause there's that brutality to it. I just wish they could actually fight people in the crowd though like, i think that'd be cool <laughs> yeah just just fight people in general that would be great right. i would totally dig that um so, so the first thing i wanted to get into was uh, this podcast is for things that bother me and bother no, you guys. those are those are all very valid things honestly and i think i think we all share pretty much the same common uh the same common outlook on that you know, and I, like now, I, have... I like john's john carpenter shirt that he has on too yeah for sure uh the fog is coming in no so i have one serious comment, probably the most serious thing I'll ever say on the show. And I have two real big gripes that I think we'll, uh, we can kind of nitpick after. The first thing, the comment, the, the real serious thing is that recently, obviously social media and stuff, but seeing Paul with his daughter, learning how to ride a bike, and obviously Zach with your sons all the time, like it's really cool to see you guys are really good fathers. Appreciate yeah. that. So, so that it's, it's, just, it's just cool that in the world of social media and other negative bullshit to see you guys actually be good parents or whatever. Like that's, it's just awesome. Like that video, Paul, and the picture of um, Zach's kids committing a felony arson <laughs> in their backyard. Like it's just, it really is cool. By the way, that's John just said something nice to both of us. I don't know if you know that. It's uh, honest to God. And I've told multiple Feels people weird. this, that is uh being told you're a good parent is 
probably the best. I, Zach, you can probably agree. That's yeah, probably the best compliment you can get, right? A, I don't need a, any any music award. Fucking award. Like being told you're just a good parent, especially nowadays. Like yeah. I didn't grow up with the best father figure. So being told I'm a good father is like. Yeah. Plus, it looks like your, kid, your kids are generally excited. Like they love being with you guys. Yeah. And obviously, I don't, I don't have kids. Um, I got I another all. couple of years before yeah. my daughter's over it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Until she you kills you. Yeah, bro. Um, yeah. But here are, my you know two, <laughs> here are my two real good gripes. So when I make pasta. <laughs> <laughs> Segway once back. again, and welcome to segway. episode three of the Seemingly Unknown <laughs> Podcast. And yeah, you have to use the uh, strainer colander, which I hate using because it's a bitch to clean. Mm. Like all the, the the water gets in there. It's just yeah. The gets stuck. Well, when I wash it, dry it, and put it in the the dryer on the sink or after the dishwasher, every time the next day when I go to put stuff away, there's always that rib of water underneath. So when you flip uh, it back upside, it falls everywhere. Fall, yeah. And here's the thing. It's not a lot of water. It's just enough to really set me off. Cause then I get a wrap a paper towel, clean up the floor. And my socks are probably soaked. Part, <laughs> okay. okay. So I'm, I'm going to hit you with a second gripe right here. Cause it's really bothering me. You don't want us to touch. I on the first hate. One. Yeah, I no, hate, we're going to chime in after. <laughs> I hate animal sports movies. I'm not talking Sea Biscuit or like real stuff. Like Airbud? Oh, uh, yeah, Airbud. Air Bud. Air Bud, MVP. They're the worst teammates. If I'm picking a team, <laughs> I am not picking any of these chimpanzees or old golden retrievers <laughs> or Andre Elephant. the Seal. Or anything that anything that's a primate or a four legged creature, you are not. Uh, you're not playing golf with me. You are not golf. playing hockey. <laughs> I, I is saw. There, is there? A, there's not. I literally. I on Disney or whatever this weekend. I was so out of my <laughs> mind one night. I watched a golden retriever shoot free throws. Fair, but and, and I'm Fair looking but. at it going, man, this terrible form. It is not believable. <laughs> So that those are my two drives for the week. I love that. I love that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love that. But a, the randomness that he brought it up after what we were just talking about. But then the random, the randomness between the two things. Yeah, that, not that anything him. alike. Okay, so hold on, real quick. Let's go on John's the first. The strainer spectrum is like this. It's like one <laughs> and over here and here. So first one, John. If you know you have to clean the strainer, and yeah, after you forget done about it. it. I was just going to say, why don't you just dry it before you get water? Well, it? I, I think I'm so you we wash a dish or a pan, like you always put the, the the bottom top first, right? But the strainer, since it's full of holes, I don't know why I just don't set it in there as is, because it's going to drain it's itself dry. Yeah. <laughs> but I swear to God, it feels like there's three inches of water every time in that stupid room. As there a, are. <laughs> as, a person, ahead, as a person who cooks a lot and, and not pasta, obviously, uh, or I probably have the same gripe. Um, there's a there's a French word in kitchens called mass in place, which means everything in place or in its place. So when I'm cooking, I'm by myself. It's easy. Like I literally, if I'm done with a dish, I clean it right then. Even if something else is still cooking, if it's like not time sensitive, I'll clean it and put it away right then because then it makes sure. But also, right, I use industrial sized um, aluminum foil, like restaurant sized aluminum. You foil do. On like casket, you could wrap every, a casket. I yeah. I put it everywhere, and my wife's always like, like, and, and uh, you know, I'm a I cook a lot of meat, and I you know instead of a cutting human, wood, I use, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, human, Airbud, otherwise, whatever. Um, I, I cook a lot of uh, sport playing animals, actually. <laughs> Oh my my, uh, the people go, oh, what do you eat? I eat a lot of big game. And they're like, deer and an elk? I'm like, no, like uh, sports that play, or animals that play sports. <laughs> so I use in foil because like a lot of like, like steak people will be like, oh, you know, why don't you, why don't you season on a cutting board? I'm like, I hate cleaning. Like when I'm into it, I enjoy it and I got to do it. But like, I, I'll put foil down anywhere. Like when I'm making pizza dough, I put foil down underneath the actual board that I'm oh. making pizza dough on because I don't want to clean up all the flour. I mean, it's like, easy. Yeah, it's, it's easy, easy to clean up. dude. So, like, so when you do that, you should just, you know, put a little foil down and then clean the, yeah, clean the colander, I, I, the strainer, whatever you want to call it as soon as you're done. It's just, I hate it, man. I hate using it. <laughs> that's why, I, I mean, I think I would eat a lot more pasta if I didn't have to use a strainer. You know I, just, I just hate it. I, it literally I, it I happened hate, two days ago and I lost my mind. I hate pasta. So, I like I've never pasta. eaten. I've never eaten a pasta. I've tried one, obviously, but and, and tried a couple kinds. There's one at this place called Carbone in Vegas, which is to me that's like the only dish they're known for. And I, I'm not going to trash them, but um, I yeah, it's, it's it was to me it was like really good. It was like a penne or something. It was actually decent. Nice. But um, 
I'm uh, other than like spaghetti. I'm like, I don't not a pasta. I'm a big mac I, and I, cheese guy. That's frivolous carbs to me. I haven't eaten mac and cheese since I was eight years old. Anyhow, wait, wait, stop, like, stop, 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 <laughs> wait, stop. That's weird. Stop. You, have two, you have two boys. Mm-hmm. That are at the mac and cheese age, and they you don't, don't really eat mac it. and cheese. No, they don't really love it either. Well, they mac have a gap like you. They eat hey, duck, even dude. like steak, dude. My kids, listen. Do are we going to talk get, about this, John? Get John, right. can you retract your statement about Zach being a good dad? Because <laughs> what the hell? All right, well, so I, I'll, I'll tell you. I do quick. hate craft. I'll tell you how quick. <laughs> I'll tell you real quick how bougie my kids are. Um, I'll so Avery will eat like Avery loves pizza, but Ollie what kid time, doesn't. I was at one time. I was doing a Ollie will eat anything avocado toast a salad like he'll eat any like truly anything and i was doing a and i started him out you know i cook a lot so i started him out early where i would do those things but so i was doing a facebook live one time and i, I was or an instagram or one of those and i got annoyed with answering questions like i normally do and um i said all right ollie you answer some questions and somebody goes what's your favorite thing to eat and i i read the question out loud before i read it and i was because i wasn't going to say it to him because i was like Oh, here comes <laughs> looking like the biggest douche. So I go, what's your favorite food? Fi- oh no. And I said, gotta right. finish. I said, what's your favorite thing to eat? And he's like, um, I like duck and Oh my God. Uh, and mussels <laughs> and crawfish and your child. And wagyu. I was like, Your your kid. Bro. Just hung my head in shame. <laughs> I grew up eating McDonald's number twos, you know. Dude, get this kid a hot dog. Has he ever had a hot dog? Yeah, no, he, he loves Costco hot dogs. Now, he did you eat that horse to inside your lake this past week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So there was <laughs> let's a hear the horse. Yeah, let's hear no, about dude, the, the water so horse. A hor- there was a horse in my lake this weekend. So I, I thought you said whore for a second. I'm like, <laughs> oh, another there's, one? Probably, there's probably a couple of those at the bottom of the lake, but we don't. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I, I good segue. Next story. Yeah. Like, <laughs> is that a horse? Is that Bad Healy? <laughs> I didn't put him there. Um, so. I was, it was, we got a lot of snow. If you guys didn't know, like in Tennessee, we get like a dusting every year, right? It's not like a, like a crazy amount of snow we get. So this is the most snow I've ever seen since I've in the 37 years I've been alive in Tennessee. So it's, it's starting to finally, it's like the day where it starts melting a little bit, but it's still, everything's covered in three feet of snow. So I'm walking something out. I put my trash can out a week before, of course, trash never comes. So I'm like, I've got to keep walking every trash bag out there. So there's, I live in a, like, there's a gate on my house. Like, you can't get into my property. And there's two, I'm walking out to the thing, and there's two sheriff's officers in front of my house. And I'm like, it doesn't matter what, if you've done nothing in your life ever. Two cops in front of your house, it's like when a cop's behind you. You're always 10 and 2. You got nothing right. in the car. You didn't do anything wrong. It's just like, I was like, uh. Ollie called the cops. What is yeah. yeah, Ollie called the cops. My dad fed me choice meat. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that, that taco of meat was 80 20. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it gave me 75 15 meat. It only had 15% fat content. 75 15 I don't know what the other 10% is on that meat. Yeah, yeah right? So. So um, I, I'm like, I like kind of like start walking towards them, you know, and it's also like 2021. Like, I don't want them to get like all freaked out. And then, you know, <laughs> yeah. White guy coming out of his uh, <laughs> nice big house. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, you know, Hey, and so I like walk out. I'm like, what's going on? They're like, do you see a horse in the lake? I'm like, come again. You said a horse. <laughs> I no. He goes, he goes, you seen a horse in the lake? I go. And I, 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 I hand a guy, I go, are you fucking with me? And he goes, no. So somebody calls says there's a horse in the lake. I go, in my lake? First off, how did they see it? And so I, but I had told, I had told my wife and my son the day before there were, I had walked out to the middle of the lake because it was super frozen. Like I chucked a big rock out there. It didn't sink. It's like I, sketch. I walked out and took a picture Too out sketch. there. Uh, <laughs> it's just still sketch. Yeah. So I, I, the next day me and Ollie are walking and I'm like, yo, those aren't my footprints because the lake's just stark white. Those aren't my footprints. That's not a dog. That's not a geese. That's not a, even a big dog. I, I, and I joked with Ollie. I go, I go, those look like bear footprints. He goes, we don't have bears, dummy. He's <laughs> four, by the way. And I, so then, hour later, the cops are like, there's a horse in your lake. I'm like, there's a what? So uh, I, I get, I, I FaceTime you guys. And I'm like, yo, there's a, there's a horse in my <laughs> lake. Horse. So we, I never saw it, but apparently they got the horse out of the lake, but the lake was frozen solid. So uh, the horse is okay. It was on the news. 
I, Justin could probably, Justin could probably find the article. Um, but yeah, it was on the news. There was a horse in my lake and I, I was, it was the weirdest thing ever. And then he goes on to the, uh, they drive around to the other side of the lake and I'm sitting here out in the snow on my dock and I go, did you find the horse? And then like, they're, you know, they're just kind of like waving their hands and like, but I never saw like, you know, I don't know, a horse helicopter, whatever the fuck they used to get a horse. Out of the lake. A horse helicopter. I don't know. What, what if it was, a, do you think it could have been a centaur though? It could have been a centaur. Maybe it was Matt who was dressed as a centaur and he was trying to walk out to take a photo and they're like, oh, he fell in the lake. Right. So we it's shot gotta him. be cold though. Right. Also, by the way, I know I live like on a, on like a couple acres and stuff. I don't know anyone around me who has a horse. <laughs> So where'd the yeah. horse come from? Where's the horse come from? I have no idea. That's a cool thing to have though. That, that, those are like the adventures as like a, with your kids are like, Oh, we got to catch the horse on the lake. Like that's just yeah. a cool kind of story we where, and then, so, and then the somebody, fl- from, like, and then somebody fall falls in, in. Yeah, 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 someone yeah, falls yeah, in and then they, <laughs> yeah, and then they get frozen to death and then you have to have a memorial service. Like it just, it just really adds. Wow. To All that. right. Uh, Zach, what else you got, man? <laughs> so, so I, um, I, I'm on this thing called cameo. Do you know what cameo is Paul? Yeah, 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 you can. I know John seen me do it for. So yeah. um, I'm on this app, and 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 generally it goes really well. And I I try to do. Hold on, for people who don't know what Cameo is, okay, explain. Yeah. So Cameo is a, a video app where people can book. I mean, dude, anybody from former presidents to to Ric Flair to you know to Mario Chalmers to um, Smokey Robinson who doesn't to 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 Smokey Robinson by the way who doesn't know what Hanukkah is. <laughs> Have you ever seen that video? No. What? Dude, somebody got Smokey Robinson to make a happy Hanukkah video for um, one of their siblings or their wife or something. And he's like, uh, so he's like, you know, like I try to do mine really personally. I read what the people write me before I do it. So I don't, I'm not like reading from the screen. I try to do it really personal. Uh, it has a lot of heart and be original. So Smokey's doing this. He's going, uh, and I hope you have uh, a happy uh, Chinooka. And I don't even know what Chinooka is. Uh, and Chinooka. I was like, I was like, <laughs> Did, did no Hanukkah? way! <laughs> Dude, Smokey Robinson doesn't know what Hanukkah is. He goes, "I hope you have a a happy ch- uh, Chinooka or Chinooka or whatever he said." And I was like, "Yo, he doesn't know what Hanukkah." And then there's, there's one of Vince Neil where he's oh. just like out of his mind. Blitz that was that was pretty good too. Maybe so he was trying to say uh, Chaka Khan. Have a happy Shaka Khan. Have a happy Shaka Khan, which would make perfect sense. It would make perfect sense because Smokey Robinson probably knows Shaka Khan because they. So you have a cameo. (laughs) Anyway. Happy Chinooka. Uh, so I had a I had a cameo. Uh, JR is going to put that in for sure because that's one of his favorite videos. Living in Vancouver now, and they want me to wish you happy Chinooka. I have no idea what Chinooka is, but happy Chinooka because they said so. Anyway, God bless you, babe, and enjoy Chinooka. Have a wonderful time. So I had I did a cameo, and I like I said, I try to do mine really heartfelt and kind of just add my own thing to them. I don't just read the the thing. I kind of add, you know try to add my own thing. So these people did one, and I'm not going to read it directly because they're going to know they're going to know it's about them anyway. So I it was like, hey, it's our anniversary. We we you know we don't see each other during the week so we skype we see each other on the weekend so i'm guessing they're young probably like, okay like uh, under, and um and then like they then there was some weird stuff it was like we, our favorite thing to do is is hang okay. together online and like bully people or something and i was like oh well, i'm not going to read that i back that <laughs> i'm like i'm not going to read that cuz that's that's kind of i can't I, I can't i can't write a song about bullying and then like <laughs> straight up just be like yeah i hope you have fun doing that and then like <laughs> it, they like wrote like something like you're the atlas to my falls and i was like okay i was like i'm not going to say that but i'll you know i'll like, say some other stuff <laughs> yeah, so like, i'm doing it. it right and it's in the morning it's still snowing out and i i what i usually do them when i get up so i've, I've been up for like an hour and i'm walking the dog around the the, the property and just kind of hanging out. And that's when I do them. So I'm doing it. I'm like, Oh, that was, and I'm like, Hey, you know, happy anniversary. It's bum, bummer. You can't guys can't be together during the week and you know, yada, yada, yada. So I get a review and I don't really read them a lot, but I got, I got one. It was like two stars. I was like, what? And they're like, didn't stick to the script. He looked out of it. And I was like, I was like wide awake. I was like, <laughs> didn't stick to the script. So listen, I get it. They pay to do this thing. And I, but like, I, I thought it was anyone else would have gotten this and been like, Oh, that's really cool. He like added his own thing to it. He was very like, you know, he's trying to be personable and it was like two minutes. And most dude, most people do these, they read the shit. It's 20 seconds. They're out. And they just made like 800 bucks. I, I, I keep mine like super cheap. Mine's like 65 right. bucks. 
super cheap. And I, mine, mine are like two and a half minutes long. Oh, that's each, cool. Each one. Yeah. And I'm like, and I'm you're naked to be, too, right? You yeah. Said? And I'm naked. Yep. For, oh, if, yep. if you, if you book it after eight 30 at night, I'm not wearing clothes in the cameo. Uh, so <laughs> I actually did. I told JR, I go, I thought about, I think I texted him. I said, I think I'm thinking about doing all the Valentine's day cameos in the bathtub. <laughs> Dude, that'd be amazing. <laughs> Why did you not? So anyway, I get a two-star review and I'm like, it's just not the day for me to see this. And I'm like out to lunch with Ollie <laughs> and I'm like, didn't stick to script. I'm like, all right. So literally, so if you get a, like a low review, you can do another one. Like you can just like redo it. For them? You can, oh, yeah, you can like redo. So I literally, I'll get, I'll send the video to JR. I just had the mask on because their they're, they're gripe was I didn't stick to the script. I literally just read it word for word with a mask on at a Perfect. restaurant. And I was like, I was like, Oh, our favorite thing to do is, is bully people. And I go, Oh, real nice. And then I just kept reading. <laughs> and then, so, so at the end I go, there you go. I read it for you. And I just winked. And then I mean, five minutes later, I get a one star review. It's like real mature. Blah, blah, blah. What? Like, Listen, you know, you I, can't I try, win. Listen, you can't win with these people. And that's, that's what I'm saying. So like, I try to humans. I got another one, one time where the guy was like, him. same thing, didn't stick to script. So I like read his script and it, he was like, I don't know if he was like typing like on a computer or that, but his, 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 his verbiage was way off. And I just read it the way that he wrote it. <laughs> And then like I sent it back to him and then he complained about that one. And so I did it again and just did the, I did there. Like I harassed this guy basically. I just did him four times. I just kept doing them. So let me ask you guys real quick. Okay. If you had to pay somebody for a cameo, who would you want a cameo from? Oh, Ric Flair. Oh, good call. John. Ric Flair. Uh, yeah. Ric Flair is a safe. I, I'm trying to think if there's probably okay, Smokey Robinson now. Cause I'd throw, I throw, <laughs> some, I'd throw some real big curveball words at him. I mean, I'll put a yabaka on it. I'll get one for Smokey. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Like Ric Flair is going to be a classic. I don't hey, know. Smokey, it's my, it's my, uh, my little cousin, Adrian's bar mitzvah. <laughs> Maybe. I think I was <laughs> it's like, Hey Adrian, I don't know what a, uh, a Bartisava is, but, uh, I hope you <laughs> I would like to get maybe Brett Favre, but his character from There's Something About Mary, kind of Dude. like that oh, douchey. I think that'd be a funny message. If you, if you want to talk about douchey, Brett Favre's main, like if you look, you can, I, I keep all mine private because again, I, 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 I get very personal with people and sure. especially if they're struggling with something, I try to be really real on there and, and just right, right. Kind of go on. Like, how do I kill this, my wife? I can't yeah, you know, do like, it. You know, you, 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 know, you, like, you don't want to be like, what's up, Dale? Heard you're having a hard time. It's been a rough. <laughs> you, know, like, you know, I'm not going to do that. Like if, listen, if I'm going right. to take the time to be on this app, I'm going to be myself and, and try to be. Which if smart. people are paying for and you, you, you got it. Yeah. And I, dude, I've got, 300 reviews they're all five star you know what i'm saying so sick like, so um it would be him or i'll tell you what uh diamond dallas pages is amazing because he does the same intro to every and his are like long like mine like, just fucking diamond cutter he, everybody he, he just I, diamond I, cutter I, 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 will I will do it for you right now all right so if i'm making one for you right it's like yep. all right okay do your up, diamond dallas page. this okay, is ddp diamond dallas page master oh. of the diamond cutter the king of butta bing five-time wwe world championship and inventor of ddpy which is now known as ddp yoga you know why because i want people to stop calling it just f in yoga <laughs> that's he does that every single time that's and great then marketing like, but then he's like then he's like all right paul so here's what's going on uh, your friend oh man me. and he oh. does it but like dude his are awesome awesome so i would say he's Rick such Flair, a good role model dude Rick flair or ddp because i've like watched big one. Oh, so anyway i'm oh, sorry I, I got off track i was talking about the brett Favre thing you can watch other people's <laughs> i keep all mine private watch other people's Every time Brett Favre one does one, I feel like he's on a private jet. Oh, it's the best. I don't see. That's why I think it's all a joke for him. Like it's Just kind of like funny. red faced and drunk. As right. Shit. <laughs> right. Like, What's up? Ernie, uh, Ernie. <laughs> go pack, man. You know, he's like, you know, like whatever. Like, hey, so, fellow cheeseheads. <laughs> yeah. What's up, fellow cheeseheads? I'm I, on this private jet here. I feel you like pick? charging <laughs> you 500 bucks for a video. <laughs> No hard pass. Yeah, yeah. Dude, the Ric Flair working. ones though. The Ric Flair ones are good. You can tell that like Ric Flair's like reading them, but like he gives the woos. He'll he'll do whatever. Does Stone Cold Steve Austin have one? No, but I'd pay for that too. 
I would pay for that one. He's that would nice, be other than like our friends who wrestle, by the way, he's the nicest person I've ever met in the WWE in my entire life. That, he's on, he's on a bucket list of people that I just want to meet. I got to go. I was in New York city and I got to go to the uh, raw 25 thing. So I, oh, I texted, I texted our buddy, Neil Lowry. He does been to WWE forever. He's the Neil Lowry is the guy responsible for shine down, having 18 songs that have been used by the WWE, which is awesome. So I'm still on, I had just flown there that day and we had finished press and I, I thought I was still on central time. So I'm like, I texted him. I'm like, dude, raw 25 is at Barclays. I'm like, it's starting right now. I wish I could come. I'm like, it sucks. It just started, but now I'll catch you next time. And he goes, no dude, it starts in an hour. I was like, I'll be in an Uber in six minutes, get an Uber, go there, hang backstage with Neil the whole night. And I get, I get to meet, I got to meet a, a ton of people, but some I already knew, I already knew Paige, obviously I saw Jericho, you know, all the people I know, Daniel Bryan, all the people that I've met before. Um, and Neil introduces me to Steve Austin. I'm like oh. in, inside, just like losing my shit. Right. Yeah. Maybe Hulk Hogan for me. Like I, I was, and I'm such an eighties kid wrestler. Right. Uh huh. So meeting Steve Austin and then like talk to me, like he had known me. It, our entire lives. He was like, yeah, you still down there in Memphis, blah, blah, blah. Like uh, talking about like hotels that he stayed in, like all this stuff. And I was like, man, dude, this is crazy. He, dude, he talked to me, you know, you meet somebody, you small talk them. Yeah. You're obviously a fan. He talked to him. <laughs> John just left. John's uh, over he it. Talked me, he talked to me for like, <laughs> he talked to me for like 15 minutes, like just about whatever, you know? And so I thought it was really cool. And then I got to meet uh, Gene Okerlund and for like, the kid in me, like, I, yeah. just got, I just got chills bringing it up. Like, meeting Gene Okerlund was like, that was like crazy. So like, anyway, back I, to met, the I met up with, I met up with, I met up with Tommy one time we were in like upstate New York or something. And, uh, it was like a house show. So I went to just go hang out with him. I didn't even really watch the event. I was hanging out with him and, uh, by the meeting, way, the, the other, other people than the uh, uh, three friends watch this. I'm sorry. Baron Corbin. There you go. He's called this um, man Tommy. I, well, yeah, I don't, I forget, like, call him by his wrestling name, but I was hanging out with Prince Rogers Nelson. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but no, I met, I met like casually. Uh, he's like, Hey, this is uh Dean fucking Dean Malenko. And I'm like, oh, wow, that was a fanboy moment for me. I'm like, the man of like, a oh, thousand yeah. homes. His, his, yeah. He's like, Oh yeah. His wife's my real estate agent. I'm like, the fuck you say? <laughs> and so, hey, the, Corbin gives me shit all the time for still fucking fanboying out. I met JR. I, I met, uh, I don't care. I met JR at All Elite last time and I was, Ooh, that'd be fun. I was, I was, I was, I was dude, my, I was tensored to $3 Waffle House steak, dude. It was great. Me and who? JR? Me and JR, dude. Oh. JR. Jim Ross. JR, JR, Moore. JR Moore. JR Moore. I was like, Moore. Was like Ross, dude. Was like, yeah, dude. But he's a great barbecue. <laughs> dude you know what? what i was thinking, speaking of how we're sticking to randomness um so yet yeah, the last episode you made a joke about my kids looking like he-man right? <laughs> yes yeah but they, no, they, but they but they just have long hair and it's all it's all one length or it was yes so we had some people over like uh some of ollie's friends came over for like a little val- post valentine's <laughs> thing but it was like a valentine's thing for them they came over they're all upstairs playing. Ollie has this bubble gun that has like a fan on it that just like spins. So, oh no. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And not my, you know, his hair is down here. So apparently got his hair stuck in the fan. <laughs> decided to cut his own hair. And I'll put a picture. We'll put a picture next to He-Man and I'll send it to JR. We can put it up. So now he has like, it doesn't look like Lloyd Christmas or something, but he's got like He-Man bangs. So you made the joke and I think I'm blaming you for bringing this into fruition because it's like not like. I love He-Man that much that (laughs) I'm into this. Brutal. Brutal. (laughs) Luckily having a daughter, it hasn't, I mean, knock on wood, it has not happened yet. Um, But I feel that now I'm, I put it out there. It's going to happen for sure. She's what? Gonna she it. cuts her hair. Yeah. Or something. Gum, oh, gotcha. Or John so she's going to g- clearly. Yeah, I do all the time. <laughs> John will come down. John will come down. Like John's the guy, like on the day off will come down bald head beard. And then we'll come down the next day, have like hair for some reason and then shave his beard off and just have a mustache. Like he's like the, he's like the chameleon on the tour. He'll just come down different every day. Like, yeah. Up, dude. Sometimes <laughs> I'll do, I'll do white face. Yeah, which is well, yeah. He'll powder his face. He looks like the Joker. Right. <laughs> he comes down like the Heath Ledger Joker too, just like all like messed up. 
John, can we get your your beard hair into your chest there? Since you have a lot of, can we? Is that can we get that to happen? Run down your neck. I, I, I'm trying to do like from like the uh, like a unibrow all the way down to like my ankles, like full like front piece hair. Yo, he sent he sent a text in the band bus in the band bus text the other day, and he said, uh, "Oh, I'm totally buying." That sounds like bang was, bus. <laughs> in the bang, bang bus. bus. He sent one in the bang bus text the other day, and it was a, a Teen Wolf basketball Halloween costume. And I go, he goes, "I'm totally buying this." I go, "What the jersey and the shoes?" I said, "You already look like that with your fucking shirt off." <laughs> Back to animals playing sports. He's the only <laughs> athlete I like. Jason Bateman or Mar- Michael, no, Michael, J- Michael J. Fox? Michael J. Fox. Mar- Michael J. Fox. Oh, Jason you don't like the Team boxer. Wolf too? <laughs> the boxer, right? You probably do like Team Wolf too, don't you? It's just a different. I wish they. I don't know. But you, I don't. I wish they got, could have got MJ Fox back. But okay, so hold on. Talking about making sequels and re. Uh, this is a, a great segue. I heard they're remaking Die Hard with a uh, female cast. Didn't they? Did they not learn their lesson from Ocean's Eight? Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Yeah, here's the thing: like people, people got mad. Like when I was like, I get the same mad. It doesn't matter if they're doing it with a female cast or like they changed the, like the ethnicity of the actor. I remember when the the Little Mermaid thing. People were coming out and they were complaining about Little Mermaid's gonna be an African American chick. I was like, I don't care. I'm like, I just don't want the Little Mermaid to be remade. Period. I was but like, here's don't, the thing. Don't touch a good it's thing. the greatest Disney movie of all time. I don't care if you made it a dude as the Little Mermaid. Just don't remake it. Just, That'd be it's hot. A great, it's a great <laughs> movie. Leave it alone. Like Die Hard. Why remake Die Hard? Why? The problem with Little Mermaid, though, is that they're mermaids. They're not real. So I don't care if you put a Doesn't big potato in a fish tail. When, they, when, they, I, when they, they're talking about redoing Annie, and they put it like, oh, we're going to put this, this young black lady in there. I'm like, so? Like, I don't... Who cares? I, I just, the story is good. I just don't want you to re- remake great movies. They're great the way they are. Leave them alone. There's Dude, one movie particular. No need, there's no need to remake Die Hard. No. With anybody. I don't give a shit. You could remake it with Bruce Willis and I would still be opposed to it. I'm I'm fine. Like, whatever. You want to remake a lot of movies, whatever. There's one movie particular that I will absolutely lose my shit over, though. And it is Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Are they going to redo Ferris Bueller's Day Off? I've never heard. I, I've just always said when they started remaking movies, I always said if they ever remake Ferris Bueller's Day Off, I will fucking run. Let's just let's just put this in, out in the atmosphere right now. Don't remake any John Hughes movie. Ever. Period. You can't. you can't. Don't touch John. They have so much heart. Mm-hmm. They have so, you know I mean? I'm sure they're going to remake Home Alone at some point. You know they will. <sighs> and the kids yeah. are texting and on Instagram and all this bullshit. You know, it's like, to me, it's like the same thing with Ocean's 8, dude. Those Ocean's movies were so good. It's like, yep. why mess with Great that? cast. Uh, great. I mean, the best cast ever, maybe? Probably. Yeah. Ensemble. Hey, real quick, real quick, John, going in, because I know you just had uh, on your yeah, spirit talk. Um, are they remaking a roadhouse with a female bouncer? The, there was a, um, there was a what is script Ronda going Rousey going to yes, be? There was a okay. script going around where it doesn't carry over like any of the legacy of Dalton or uh, okay, so any, it's a different movie. The original. It's a different movie, different, but they want okay. to use I'm okay Roadhouse. Also, name. I love Ronda Rousey. <laughs> so, but it, yeah. it would be kind of a cool kind of new take like a, on. Yeah. So it's not, but it's not. They're not remaking. She is not shaving her head, or and that's fine. <laughs> Like she's playing a different character under the she's moniker. Gonna, she's not going to be banging Dr. Kelly in the. On I the thought you'd be barn. bigger. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> See, they're not going to say that. That's what they all say. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's the thing is like, I, I thought like you'd I said, be like, deeper. You gotta, again, you got to leave roadhouse alone too. It's like, but now if they're remaking, if they're doing a different movie, I'm all good with that. Also, yeah, it's a different Ronda Rousey. And I think she's, she seems like the coolest person in the world. So perfectly Agreed. okay with that. So, but here's don't just stop remaking great film. Like there's, you know how many shitty movies there are? Remake those a lot make them better. Make a shitty movie worse. <laughs> They've already done that too. How many times have they remade uh, Halloween movies? Uh, they not I mean, enough. They've only, <laughs> they, they've only remade one, and that was the the first Rob Zombie Halloween, which we've all, I've already talked about on a podcast. For I'm not a fan of. Um, I love Rob Zombie movies. I love. House of a Thousand Corpses. I love Devil's Rejects. I love, you know what I'm saying? Like, I enjoy them. It's just, I'm so attached to Halloween that it's like, it, it, it just, it wasn't 
It wasn't in my wheelhouse. I'm not. Three from Hell was kind of. Uh, if you want to remake something, you know what you should remake. I watched an episode on YouTube the other day of Behind the Music. Remember Behind the Music? Oh, thing? on VH1. Now everyone just puts all their shit show up on Instagram. So it's like we already uh, know. We already know about your how crappy your life is. Behind, behind the, the Music. Uh, pop up video were the best. Dude, pop up video was great. Yes. Too. The voiceover guy though on Behind the Music was great. And like, here's the thing though: there were some bunk episodes of Behind the Music. Like I remember, like I was a, I'm a huge fan of the Goo Goo Dolls, but like the Goo Goo Dolls didn't need a behind the music. They had like, one. Yeah, dude. In the roughest, the roughest part of the entire Goo Goo Dolls behind the music was like after the hits of Iris and blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm trying to do that guy's voice. It was like, and then John got writer's block. <laughs> you're like, oh, dun, writer's dun, dun. block. Like, no, dude, I want you to do heroin and drive your car off the 405. Like, I like, I like, I, I, I don't need to know that you got writer's block. Like, it's behind the music to me is like, I need to know where you messed up because I'm on this path now. Now, I, I want to hear some Motley Crue. I want to hear some Motley Crue stories. I want to hear some Black Crow, some Def Leppard. I don't need that. Yo, when Sarah was Sarah at live, did the Neil David behind the music on Sarah oh my live? God, that's one of Dude, the best. Yeah, kitchen, kill the hitchhiker. Dude, that's storytellers. <laughs> that's, the, on, that's storytellers. Storytellers. Yeah, yeah, that's storytellers. storytellers. What was it? No, there wasn't. Oh, behind the music was uh, Blue Oyster Cult. That was the yes. Yeah, yeah. that was the um, that was the cowbell one. But yeah, the, the, the Neil Diamond. The Metallica one was really good. The behind yeah. the music on Metallica was great. That I was- I propose if they ever bring it back. Morgan Freeman does the voiceover for no, dude. I like the original guy. Morgan Freeman does every other voiceover. Why don't you? And I it's incredible. <laughs> it is incredible. But that guy, there's something about that guy saying that like this dude was just blown out of his mind, like under the <laughs> stage and couldn't go on stage where you're like, I believe this shit. Like this guy's like, there's something about it. I, what I, don't, I wish I knew that guy's name, but anyway. Paul, what's this the thing, uh, kind of behind you, the scene wrestling show? Beyond the bat? Is beyond the mat. Beyond the mat. Oh. Dark, si- dark side of the dark ring. Side, dark side of the dark ring. Side. Dark side That's of the ring. Awesome. Incredible. Show. Incredible. Yeah, I've there, I've watched some episodes of that. They were really good. It's on Vice, right? Yeah. Yes. They got like the the Chris Benoit one was really good. I thought, uh, that's that's the, the one I wanted to watch because I heard Eddie Guerrero really, really one was Eddie great. Guerrero. Um, is it better than uh, Mystery at the Sissel Hotel? Uh, one thousand <laughs> percent. I've gotten some hate mail. I've had some hate mail about that shit. Really? I'm not talking shit about it. Yeah. So if they brought back to me, if they brought back behind the music though, like there would be so much like. Instagram and Twitter fodder. Like, and then the two brothers yeah. started fighting on Twitter and they're like, I don't give a shit about this. Right. Yeah. I mean, do one on an Oasis. Like, I mean, oh man. Dude, my God, please do an Oasis behind well, the music. Right. Right. Oh, like, God. cause the Black Crows one was great too. Like, those, those brothers hate each other too. It was great. Yeah, that'd be good. They did. Cool. They're back together now. Speaking <laughs> of, of uh, social media and Instagram and Twitter, Paul, um, oh. I put out a thing. Last week that you guys saw, where oh, I, you did. I asked people to send me. You got to send them to us right now, though. You got to send us the ones right now. I so sent them. I sent them to you. Them? Okay. Yeah. So, John, do you have your phone? Or are you videoing? So, them? for anybody, while while Zach looks this up, uh, we told right any 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 females that have ever gotten creepy DMs from dudes, or I know there are plenty. Um, we told everybody to send them in, and Zach, I sent Zach's like, hey, look through a couple of these, pick out the best ones. And these ones, I, I, I don't know how to. I wish we block could show the them names. But we'll we block out the names, but yeah. God, you guys, uh, gentlemen, like I have a daughter, and I, I dread the day <laughs> that she ever gets social media. I will crucify somebody. Um, I mean, there were there were guys really sending see. pictures of their butthole to women. It's just like, dude, oh do you want to go to dinner? The it's dude like, standing, the dude yeah. standing uh, on the shower, completely naked. Okay, that just guy, from this view up, like, look, up. Uh, send sending dick pics, uh, you know, get a good angle, my guy. Like, if you're gonna do okay, it, so but I don't for- do it unsolicited. <laughs> I yeah, forgot about off. that guy, but now I'm picturing he had the pubic hair, but then everything up from the pubic region up to like the throat line, it looked like a frumpy frog. And I'm like, does this guy have breasts? Dude, but he, he set that out to get he had just, such great tits. It basically the hair. They were perfectly round. Dude. I was just like, dude, what's going on? Like, what do you want here? Do you want more food? Like, so All, right, so- All right, so Paul, if you have a if you have a daughter, and what if she gets a message that says, "Happy birthday"? As an official member of the BSI, and due to pandemic, I'm offering due to your inspection by photo. Feel free to send a required photos anytime. It's convenient for you today. 
uh, thank you, but I'm not sure what that is, LOL. And then the guy goes, it seems you haven't yet, you, it seems you've yet to comply with the official request in the BSI, birthday suit inspectors. What the fuck, you creep. Failure to comply with this request could have no penalty at all, but why take that chance? <laughs> It's just, are you role? Is that guy role playing at this time, or is he just no, so locked? He in? thinks he's being clever, and it's he, like he should be shot. Do, this is this is where we bring Ken in. Ken has to read the DMs. Yes, Ken yes, reads DMs. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have him on just for this. That has to be this. It has to be that way. I mean, and then so the next one is, or do we want to talk about this one? Because that is birthday. Just throw, suit. just throw, just, just throw about that. Get do, 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 read the next one. BSI. <laughs> All right, so here. Like, I wonder if that's step. worked. Did you think that's worked before? And we'll pop them. We'll pop them up here too. And then, um, ah. I love. This seems like. Was there another one to this? It seems like you didn't send the whole thing. That, no, that was the only one. And this is the best one I saw because he was so <laughs> persistent <laughs> even so, after he got shut down. Last comment was and it was so the be- good. It was good. I a for effort, but Jesus Christ, there's. If you are not, it. if you are not interested, just let me know. Okay, first off, if you use the letter U and R, I, I, you're a piece you're, of shit. You're, you're you're a serial killer anyway. Um, I had asked you out for dinner. How does that sound? And they, they go, well, I'm a lesbian. He goes, have you ever been with a man? And he put you <laughs> again. And the person goes, dicks are gross. And he goes, I have a tongue. <laughs> Listen, no. okay, hold on. First of all, <laughs> you got shut down. But to come back like that, I have a tongue. <laughs> Dude, if so you get good. shut down, if you get shut down, go away. Okay, so. You got shut down. It's over. Here's the here's the thing, and and I've talked to a couple of my female friends about this, and I've had female friends send me stuff, and I'm like, dude, what? Like, okay, you shoot your shot. Be a gentleman about it. Hey, I find you very attractive. Can I take you out to dinner? You know, but not, you, you know, know and it, you're part of the BSI. Yeah, no, I'm not a part of the BSI. <laughs> But you shoot inspectors. you shoot your shot, respectively. Hey, I find you very attractive. Can I take you out to dinner? You get shut down. Okay, leave it alone. If you don't get replied to, leave it alone. Do not yeah. keep because there's a lot of those messages where it's just one sided. Guy oh, just dude. sends fifty messages, never getting replied My to. My once. favorite ones are are those, and like girls post them on like Instagram all the time. It's like, oh yeah, hi, 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 baby, hi, baby, hi, hi, hello, hello. You look gorgeous today. Hi, hi, hi. It's like just dude, stop. At what where? At what level is your self esteem at that you? send someone in that many messages and be like, hi, 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 hi. Leave it alone. And the best yeah, is to see like the timestamps of like how far, sometimes they're like weeks apart. So, and I've never uh, sending a, a dick pic from the get go and then trying to follow up with a, Oh, Hey, blah, blah, blah. Let me put, if I, if some, my daughter, when my daughter's older and she ever starts dating or whatever, I swear to God, She's not you guys are both away. my. W- don't say I don't want to think about it. <laughs> if anybody ever sends my daughter a dick pic, I'm taking that photo. I'm gonna find his parents and I'm taking it to his parents and be like, "Hey, your kid is doing this shit." Now, what like, if she gets the vagina pic? I hope thing. my daughter's a lesbian. I'm gonna be honest with you. I hope yeah. she can apply to that guy just like that. I'm a lesbian. Dicks are gross. Women can be just as evil as men, though, dude. So you, a girl, could break your your little girl's heart just as. I'm easy. A, I was I was like you. I was in in my younger stage. I was a dickhead, like you know. I wasn't I, a dickhead. I just not a dickhead, but I, I like to date around. So, but now date. I'm like, I wasn't if, doing much dating, but yeah, I see what you're doing. <laughs> Come on, we got to keep it. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. a family show, right? All right cool. How many movies were you seeing a week? <laughs> This guy's like, dude, I've seen the remake of Point Break seven times this week. Paul, Paul's like, I watched Anaconda 14 times. <laughs> the, Green Mile, the Green Mile was my go-to. It was like, hey, do you want to watch The Green Mile? I cry a little bit. Show that long? I can be sentimental. Yeah, oh, you cry long. watching yeah, The Green Mile. You give a little bit of a cry. It's like, oh, he's really cute. And like, Interesting. Sentimental. So... What execution? I don't understand, it's, it's, I don't understand it's, it's, the appeal of that. We like use these tears as loot. because the, I mean <laughs> it's also a okay. seven and a half hour movie, so he had plenty of time. It's also to like a seven and a half hour movie, so like you could get Paul could get done what he needed to get done, and like right. not even miss like like right. like the, the best part of the end, John Coffee. Yeah, yeah, dude, you're <laughs> fine. Paul's over here jerking off the deep impact with some girl in the corner, like <laughs> a vampire. Guys, have, have, it, have either of you guys ever gotten laid in a movie theater? Not no, not full laid. Not no. full on, full laid. 
No. Rounded second like base? A, John seems like the guy who's put his dick in the bottom of the popcorn. Bowl. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> you want any more of this? Are you sure? No, milk duds. <laughs> Yo, so speaking of Kent, so speaking of Kent, we were somewhere in the middle of nowhere one time and we like took an Uber to this. Me and Kent didn't hook up in a movie theater, but uh, we, <laughs> Together? We, fill, we filleted each other in the back. <laughs> we, we took an Uber to go see a movie. And like, I think our drum tech at the time was there and he was like watching, there was like some drum line live thing that was playing on the theater. And he was there. So I Dirt. bought, you know, usually when we all go to the movies, it's like so one of us will buy all the tickets. If one of us buys sure. all the concessions. So I bought the tickets. So Kent's like, all right, I'll go get us some stuff. He's like, you want butter? I'm like, yeah. Uh, he's like, you want butter on your popcorn? I was like, yeah, butter. So Layered. Yeah, layered butter. Half and, I say half and half butter. Put some on the bottom half, put some on the top half. So, which is probably why I'm going to have heart disease. But um, anyway, so, <laughs> Great so movie, he, he, we get into, I go into the theater. He brings all the stuff in. He hands me my popcorn, which is not in a bucket. It's in a bag. Dude, I swear to God, it weighed four pounds. I was like, <laughs> I go, yo, dude, what is this? And he was like, oh, I told him extra, extra butter. I go, that's not what I said. And listen, I love butter. I'm from the South. I'm a huge fan of butter. I put one piece of this popcorn in my mouth and like, I was like, I can't eat this. Dude, it was like too salty, like, too buttery. Like putting, or? No, it was like putting like a, imagine like a, like a piece of cotton in your mouth that was wet. First of all, I hate raw cotton. I can't touch it. Uh, if, uh, if you put a piece of like a cotton in your mouth that was soaked in water and then you just kept like, like pushing it in and more juices kept coming out. Uh, I was like, I can't, eat, I can't eat this popcorn. So I had to like bring it back. But the bag, like I remember him handing me the bag and I was like, it felt like just, someone's purse. I was like, dude, this is like a heavy, like never say extra, extra butter at a movie theater. Wait, well, for, this goes for both of you. It's, it got a lot of butter in it. What are your guys' go-to movie snacks? I, I'm a ice cold popcorn. popcorn. Ice cold Just Coke. Pop. Yeah, popcorn. Okay. John Coke. will eat candy. I'll eat like Twizzlers or like, that's, I'm trying to stay away from chocolate, but Twizzlers, I can turn them into a straw. Uh, I'll do that. But He'll popcorns, that. I've seen uh, popcorns yeah. Me, or sometimes with me, me or Zach, we get this a bucket and we'll just put a couple of holes in the bottom of it and just. <laughs> yes. We'll watch Avengers Endgame two more times. Like, we'll do no. Wow, this is too much butter. You sure no. it's butter? <laughs> Did you ever go to the drive-in? And Why did they put a Cadbury egg inside sexual? this thing? Right. What's that? Did you guys ever do sex at a drive-in? Uh, recently? No. The Smith & Meyer oh, show? The Smith & Meyer store. <laughs> <laughs> My wife wasn't and there. And no. by Brent. <laughs> have you ever done sex at a uh, drive-in before? Do you guys have drive-ins in Arizona? Yeah, dude. I With all this pandemic stuff going on, we, we go to the drive-ins a lot, actually. Oh, for real? Like, did you, did yeah. You, did you do sex there? No, I've no, oh, never I'm done. Sorry. No, that you remember that, you, that I remember. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's hard getting laid to the crudes, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that's fine. Hey, <laughs> try air, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, honey. He's gonna make the shot. <laughs> realistically, realistically, how many people do you think have banged air, bud? That's part one. Part oh, two, how many? What's the percentage of those people that are just absolute fucking serial killers. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, I think there's, yeah, it's, I, I would say a lot. I mean, I think yeah, people after, after, they, after they hear this, after they hear this, they're probably going like, to yeah, let's put, let's put on air bud one through three. And, uh, there's that many of them. Oh, many of them do it. I just saw an air Irish retriever doing some uh, water polo. Dude, they're up to like 10 of them. It's the dumbest <laughs> shit. Dude, there's a new out. one coming out with I'm teaming up with Barry Corbin. Tonight. They're a tag put- team. <laughs> hey, put on Air Bud and see if you get laid. Look, Dude, that's a legit hear? thing. <laughs> he said that there's a new tag team wrestling Air Bud with him and Baron Corbin as a tag team. Right. <laughs> right. Dude, We're having Corbin to, on here. I'm going to try to put Air Bud <laughs> on tonight and just like, just totally get in. Well, I'm just, where- just watch it and just like, you're going to be laughing. It's, it's, he's just, here's my thing though. My, my gripe. My he's such a bad more than player. She hates anything. He's a terrible teammate. It's just Why? crap. I don't, I wish he was like, because he doesn't that communicate dog. or what? Okay. So this goes back to a whole other, I don't want to get off topic here, but I yeah, hated, hate that. I hated Shadow from Homeward Bound because he's always like, "Ooh, go on with help me, kids!" <laughs> like that scene where he's in the bottom <laughs> pit, dick. and he's just like, "Go on with help me, Shadow and Sassy Cat." It's just chance and just shut up, just die in your hole. 
Plant a red fern. And you're just a, a crap dog. Can I, I take him out of this chat? Can I like make him lose? I just, can, I just hate yeah. dogs. I, I love big, strong dogs. Like it can be guy or girl, but like that dog is just, oh shit. Watching, this, I, I would love to sit on the bus and watch Land Before Time with his. He's like, oh, Littlefoot's a bitch. I love that movie. All that dogs movie go to heaven. Can you imagine all dogs go to heaven with him? That's a dude. sad movie, dude. But those those <laughs> dogs are relatable. Lady the Tramp, I love. Milo what Otis, I Littlefoot. Love. I love Littlefoot, Sarah, uh, Petrie. Like, I love that. Dude, I saw that at the movie theater. I saw my ticket stub. Hey, and, uh, everyone, at John says he has the ticket stub to every movie he's ever gone to. I like, do. Ever since I, he, I, like, a box. Just enough to keep him. Yeah, my first two were uh, Land Before Time and Rescuers Down Under. Okay, Rescuers Down Under. So I'll, I'll, I'll give you a quick movie story one time. I went to see, you remember Three Ninjas? You remember Three uh, Ninjas? Yeah. Did I just send you guys this recently or I posted no. it on no. Instagram? Just watched Three Ninjas with Cadence for the first time. Oh yeah, you she did. Lo- loved it, dude. I, t- I think I texted you guys this story then, but I'll tell I'll tell the, the listener. So tell them. I went to <laughs> the guy that movie was actually the first Red Ranger in Power Rangers. Little known fact. Oh really? Yep. I did know that actually. So my yep. friend Ben, his parents took me to the movie theater in Bartlett. It's now the two dollar theater, but it used to be like the, the the really nice theater in Memphis. And we went to Applebee's before. Um, it was like, yeah, yeah that's that probably the last time I've eaten there willingly. Um, <laughs> and so I would go and my friend Ben's like, there was like a, there's still, I don't know if you, the people listening now that probably doesn't know what a, what a payphone is, but there used to be these giant things on the wall and you'd go put a quarter in and it, it eventually turned into 35 cents, but you'd put a quarter in, you could make a call. But if you didn't, you could just be a dumbass and fuck with the phone and not put a quarter in at all. But what I didn't know is he dared me to call 911. <laughs> at the on the payphone and i did and i, I immediately called and it, it rang and i hung up the phone and i hung up and then next thing you know the cops show up to the applebee's this is a true story cops show up to the applebee's and this little narc ass motherfucker busted Bitch. me out in front of his parents and i didn't get to go see oh. three ninjas kick back and i'm st- i still hate that kid Fuck that kid. I still He's a hate snitch. that kid. He's a dickhead. Snitches get stitches, Ben. You Fuck know, you, Ben. Paul. Read the news. Paul reads the news. Paul reads the news. Yeah. Uh, I, I I had this written down and you told me to wait until next week, but we have to we have to address this now. Here we go. Before yep. it gets out of date. Okay. Potato head. That's all I'm gonna say to you. I, 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 I literally, you know what bothers me about the potato head thing? The fact that everyone's talking about it. It was the Mr. Potato Head was the first and only gender neutral toy in existence. You can make potato head, whatever the fuck you wanted to make it. Right. You Lipstick, tits, long hair, you earrings, have two dicks. He could, yep. he could be a multi dick potato. He could be anything. So why the big deal now? Were they just taking Mr. Off of it? But there was also Mrs. Potato Head who you could make a man. So is it now not Mr. or Mrs.? Is it just, just potato, potato head? head? No, Hasbro, Hasbro backtracked. They're not changing it. They're not changing it now. No. It's just Mr. Potato Head. Well, they, I guess the, they, they, they put a press release say, hey, we're not going to change it. But but then you look at the the Mr. and Mrs. Like, if you if you could like buy, buy both and it changed, like, what's, it's a potato then you get with human features. Like, who cares? One. You couldn't take all this shit off of them. They're the same shape. Same fucking thing. Well, here's what bothers me about this story. It's the people who get mad that they were that they were going to change it in the first place. If they want to change it, who gives a fuck? Who gives a shit? I don't. Care. I used I to get- turn, take the ass off the potato head and use it as my pet. I used to use this as my penny, my change bag for like the dollars and change. Like that little. <laughs> Where are we? What is happening? Jogging area, ladies and gentlemen. My, <laughs> my my point is though, like it's it, first off the people that got upset in the first place that wanted to get get to change. Fuck them off the yeah. game. And then the people who get upset that they're changing it be like, I played with this as a kid. Why does it have to change? Why do you care? Yeah, are you still playing with it? Ass man with bills and shit. Why do you care that they're going to change Mr. Like who, who cares, dude? My like, life is going to go on. I promise. It doesn't matter. It's the same as same thing as all the movie things like remaking the movies. I don't care that they're remaking them with women or, or men or what or dogs. I care if they do dogs. Um, but yeah, it's like, why do you care? Like, like, why do you get upset about it? Don't watch it. 
You know, yeah. they're not taking you to the, you can still watch the original movie. Do I think they need to make remake classic movies? No, I think they're classic the way they are, but obviously listen, the world's a greedy fucking place period. And they're going to keep doing that shit as long as they, first off, uh, also in Hollywood, there's not one original idea left period. No, I have a couple. The ones that are left are trash. <laughs> John says I have a couple. Oh, I'm sure. Dude, I, I just, need, I just need a good budget. <laughs> me and John went to go see uh, a quiet place. And I was like, what a great, great movie. What a great movie that I'd never seen before. Great. And then literally a year later, Netflix puts out Bird Box and Sandra Bullock, which is the same play out. It's like, dude, come on. At least yeah, make saying, like, it's, it's like you, you can't may have an original idea. So again, on the potato head front, I literally don't care. Change it. Don't. It was, it was the first gender neutral uh, toy as far as I was concerned anyway, because you'd be like, now Mr. Potato Head has lipstick on. <laughs> So yeah, the best speaking part. speaking of gender neutral and all that stuff, uh, gender reveal parties. Okay, Ooh. these are in, I hate these. This isn't the so news. much. No, no, this is something happened, and I, I read okay. this, and I was like, wow, this has to get this has to get brought up. Somebody died from a gender Ooh. reveal party from goddamn shrap. This guy was making a gender <gasps> reveal thing and shrapnel in his garage exploded and the guy fucking died. So who, was it a surprise for him or for the gender? Reveal? I guess he was making it for well, what the fuck are you putting together that has shrapnel in it to reveal the sex to your kid? Listen, first off RIP, but kind of, but natural selection happens for a reason. This person has a family. I'm not, I'm sensitive to that. I understand that. I love that you got to preface all this bullshit now before you fucking talk about it. <laughs> talk shit about somebody. No, I just say it. First they're off, not, the they're not watching who, the show. If, if, if it was someone who had that made, if like they were having that made and this guy died from it, I hope those people get some sort of incurable disease. Uh, because that is ridiculous. Like why? Like this guy died because you want to have a party to tell everybody that you're having a girl or a boy. First off, if you ever invite me to a gender reveal party, I'm blocking your fucking number in my phone. Hold on. I just found out. Yeah, no, this took place in Memphis. Shut up. <laughs> right on the lake. They that, expl- a- that explains horse, a lot. They also got a the horse for the party and it fell in the lake. <laughs> Dude, oh. I don't, I, I, listen, don't invite me to a gender reveal party. Ever. Text me, dude. And you know, what? I'm not, I'm gonna I'm gonna slide off the subject just for a second. I was my brother earlier. His one of his buddies told me he was having a baby. People who who like announce their human? kids, oh, yeah. yeah, a new baby, <laughs> <laughs> not an old baby. People who announce their kids, like like literally, they announce it when they're like six weeks pregnant, and then they're like, "We can't wait for Evelyn Jane to be." I'm like, I hope it comes out with a wiener, dude. You named Good. your baby. And you, you you just found out you're pregnant. Like you're already naming. Like they get shit. They get. There's like, like a rush to like like a rush in life. Like I hate that. Just let the thing grow for nine to fourteen months. Yeah. And cool. just, <laughs> dude, let me tell you something just, about both of my children. I named them after they were born. That's great. Both of them. I like had two ideas. years later. Two years later, folks. I had ideas. Oh, dude, the first three hours I think that Ollie was alive. His he didn't have a name on the birth certificate. Ollie was number two. That's what we you were sure. by. We call them baby. My spoon. thing is, my thing is, all right, hey, we're having a baby. I hope it's healthy. That's it. Dude, that's there you go. That's, that's all you can ask about. for. I don't care if you have a girl or a boy. And like, <laughs> like if, first of all, all, the creative ass ways, look, some of them are cool. Like the hitting the golf ball is cool. I've seen like some couple like really creative ones. But at the same time, I'm like, if you still invited me to that party, I'm like, I'm leaving. I'm not coming. I'm I watched one I'm blocking the Bills Mafia Instagram. where the guy fell through the table and became blue smoke. It was, it was kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I like love, the, I like the Bills Mafia. They jump through the tables off the cars. Like Bills Mafia, the football. Yeah, yeah. They'll jump through the tables in the parking lot. I saw a gender reveal where whoever it was put like this packet of whatever blue dust underneath the table. The guy jumped from his porch to the table and blue <laughs> dust came. Like, oh, I'm having a son. And I'm like, wow. Then they throw yeah. their baby through it. Right. Bro, I don't, <laughs> listen, you know, how, ju- you know how you can tell me your gender reveal? Text me and say, it's a girl. I'd be stoked. Congratulations. Yeah, good for you. I hope she's healthy. Good for you. Let me know. You know, you, I you do know love the ones thought. where, where it's pure disappointment, like where they're bummed or they're like, God damn it. I needed a boy like Corbin. He, when he found out he was having a girl, 
Was the pure upset? look of disappointment. I'll, I'll try and find the video and send it to you. The pure <laughs> look of disappointment. He's like, motherfucker. Like, because he knew he was going to be doomed, man. Like, he has a cute kid, though. His daughter is gorgeous and she's the funniest thing ever. His facial, um, like his fa- facial expressions uh, with, with wrestling, but just having dinner with him before, like he's, he comes off someone's very funny. It doesn't try hard to be like, he, he no, would be he's, really he's, good he's, 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 as like a deadpan, like comedic type actor. Yeah. He's a True. Good <laughs> I, I, I dig, I dig him a lot. He's, I mean, we, I met him through Paul actually. Yeah. So, um, and a gender reveal party. Cool. And yeah. a gender reveal party. Yeah. <laughs> Paul's gender reveal party, actually. Yeah, it's mine. <laughs> That's pretty great. What else you got for us, Paul? That's all I got, man. Gender neutral potato heads and gender what reveal if, okay, parties. What, what about this? What if we had gender reveal parties for potato heads? <laughs> 100%. Think about it. That'd be actually bad. Oh, it's going to be a red bliss. You You're just going to pull out a potato head with lipstick and a dick. Like yeah. you, know, you get a, you get a potato gun, you know, yeah, you guys aren't from the South. So maybe you don't know what a potato gun. Is. I, know I know what the fuck are. a potato gun is. Come on. You shoot the potato gun, right? But like you, you do it like a, like a, um, what do they call those things? Uh, pinata. So the person shooting the potato gun, you <laughs> blindfold on them, right? And you spin them around and you line up three people. And if they shoot them in the dick, it's a boy it's potato. A boy. <laughs> if you shoot him in the face, it's a girl potato. See, I don't know what that's. <laughs> I don't know. Same What's the, like? It, so. Remember growing up when you go to a party, we used to have like the pinatas, but there's always that time where the one person would have like a budget pinata and it was like knockoff brand candy, like spider rings. You just kind of like, dude, this party sucks. <laughs> you're, like, yeah, you're like, I don't even want anything in the pinata. It's like, like this all, kid spins around and hits his dad in the dick with his broomstick. Right. Like I want m and not six foots. That's the gender six. reveal I want. <laughs> dude, what if all, what if all gender reveals were just pinatas? I would, I'd love it. I still like the potato reveal where you get the potato gun and get some. That's actually how you get the uh, high, <laughs> high velocity gun by a right. child. A child by gets a child, to shoot you in the a dick. Child gets to shoot. And that's whatever, whatever he hits, that's the gender of his potato. I like it. That's pretty sick. I really dig that. I think that would be great. That, I've, I don't think I've ever been invited to a gender reveal party. So I still have all my friends intact. Give it time. Uh, Give it time. I, I, I don't want to be invited to a gender. Like, first off, like, Dude, the audacity. Think about that. Think about the audacity to go, I'm going to invite all my friends over here. Listen, if you want to have a get together, just say you want to have a fucking get together. Yeah. And then we'll also be doing this. Don't call it. Like, listen, if you're, if you ask me to come over to your house so you can tell me what the gender, dude, I could, I would rather watch Ghostbusters, uh, the female yeah. version. That's saying a lot. Then, then go to a gender reveal party. <laughs> Truly, oh, I would God, rather, I would so rather watch that shitty Point Break remake they did. I oh, See, don't give that me movie's actually, That movie's actually good. They should have just called it a different plot, a different characters. That's the problem with that movie. That's the same thing. Ex- about the cinematography of that was so if they, good. If they if they literally put a different mask, oh, create a character, uh, to put a different mask on the guy playing in Rob Zombie's Halloween. That would have been a great movie. All right, we're gonna we're gonna end the the segment of movies on this. I'm fucking pissed off that they're remaking Space Jam. That's all I'm gonna say. It's, it's a bullshit. sequel. It's a sequel. I don't care. Regard the, they're not remaking it. Regardless, would, would you, here's my question: Would you feel differently if it was a different player? I I don't like the Lakers and like Bugsy Bugs. I'd be down. I'd be down. I, I, yeah, for sure. Like he Muggsy needs, Muggsy he needs this role more than LeBron needs it. Uh, Wasn't Muggsy Bogues in the in the original? He yeah. was. He was uh, one of the original Charles like five Barkley, that he got his powers taken from. Yeah. Uh, Patrick Ewig, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. you know why? Because they would all. If you watch the Last Dance, uh, greatest greatest sports documentary of all time. Um, if you watch the Last Dance, they um they talk about how like they set up a gym on the Warner Brothers for him to play while he was play. recording. All those basketball players came out, so it's probably how they got in the movie. So sick, which is pretty great. I don't uh, listen. I don't care if they make a Space Jam documentary. They need to make a, a last. They may need to make a, a another Last Dance. <laughs> it's like the best. Well, do you best. think LeBron? Do you think is Air Bud in Space Jam too? God, I hope so. I wonder who's gonna pass to who because none of them like assists. God, that dog is. I know they used. uh, I know they used James Goldstein's house. Uh, Oh, really? James Goldstein is, but he's like the NBA guy that wears like all like all he has the long white hair and always 
Cowboy Dundee or, or the Cowboy Dundee, the uh, Crocodile Dundee hat. Yeah. <laughs> It and looks like an Australian great, ring. With the great editing that JR did last time, I there's going to be somebody <laughs> named Cowboy Dundee pop up. And then yeah, for sure. Right <laughs> when I was trying to think of Ron Howard last week. I said Ron Paul, and he pops up a photo of Ron yeah, Paul. That threw me off, right? And my light got all blown out for a second. What just happened? That was weird. So, John, uh, real quick before we finish up, have you, uh, have, you got, have you made contact with Marty Jannetty yet? Yeah, what's up with this, man? Physically, no. <laughs> I, I, been in the I, same I, room as Marty Jannetty. Did he try to murder you in a back alley? For I, yeah, I woke up in drugs. a dumpster. Uh, no, I uh, spiritually, I think we're on the same wavelength. He just doesn't know that I'm coming for him. <laughs> spiritually, we're on the same wavelength. I, I really just want to talk to him. I think he'd be a cool guest on here. Maybe do something cool because I, I think a, an ass whooping from me to him <laughs> might ask you actually rescue him. Can you make your next promo? Can you wrap a present and then? And then open it, and then inside it just says it's an IOU, and it says ass whooping for Marty Janetti. <laughs> yeah, done. It's like, I, we, we've seen photos, but can you do a, a real live old school 80s WWF uh, wrestling promo? I'm going to get sued for saying that by the World Wildlife. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, can you make I'm, like, I'm, like I'm, a I'm, video? I'm, like, I'm just trying to get up. I'm actually in the process all over of your body. <laughs> I'm making. I'm actually in the process of creating like a cool backdrop too, where like they have like oh, the, yeah, the yeah, so like the curtain, like the play curtains, and uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna get fired up. Like I'm, you I have, have to get your mom to act like Mean Gene Okerlund and hold the microphone, and you just grab it. I might you. just, I might just hire someone off Craigslist. And be like, hey, I need you as a manager, <laughs> and I need a couple of jobbers so I can just hire someone off kick. Craigslist. And, Is uh, Craigslist gone? Is Craigslist still there? No, your back page. That's where you found all back those. page. Right. Good, the good casual encounters, I think, is gone. Is what you're talking about. <laughs> I am a man seeking a man. Yeah, no, yeah, bought, that's still there. I bought an amp off back page one time. Did it come with a guy? <laughs> yeah, it, came with a blow, it, came, it came with a blowjob. But yeah, it was, it was great amp. Blowjob yeah, is terrible. He was a great the tech. Amp, the amp still works. Yeah, yeah, it was great. He blew up my amp. <laughs> <laughs> my amp, my amp hole. <laughs> oh, it was called. Oh, it was an orange oh. amp. I bought it in Portland. It was actually really good. Yeah, that's a great time. You might want to get tested if you bought something in Portland. I'm just yeah. saying, especially after the last year. Anyway, I have thrush right now. Ugh. I have thrush. Well, this has been real. <laughs> Anyway, thank you very much. It's it's crazy with all these things that we talked about and all of our opinions on everything that we still don't have a sponsor. Uh, three episodes. It's really surprising. <laughs> really surprising. I, honestly, I think we're going to get one for Airbuds. I think that's the one. <laughs> Airbuds is going to be the one? Earbuds or Airbuds? Airbuds. Ear, earbuds for Airbuds. Perfect. That's Airbuds. a great charity. Air, Airbuds, great charity. Earbuds, dude. Right. Dude, I, that's gonna be sick, dude. I can't wait for that. I can. That, we need like, I we need like a I can't wait for us to be cutting the headphones. promo. But like, uh, remember this summer on July thirteenth, Airbud Seven. Be sure to go see it at all AMC theaters. Like, this would be amazing. I can't wait. It's gonna be great. Zach's on oh, Zach's oh, TV. <laughs> thank you for tuning in to episode three of the Seemingly Unknown podcast. Be sure to smash that subscribe button on the YouTube and slap that like button. Uh. Uh, yeah. Anyway, like you, like you slap <laughs> your lover in the movie theater. As All you guys right, are doing this dirty is stuff. Real, okay. Um, and thank you guys very much for tuning in. Be sure to tune into John's other nineteen podcasts that he does. I think All he, of them. I think he actually does one only about uh, the seventh holes on golf courses at this point. <laughs> I actually side note before we end this, I actually got offered to do a another podcast with someone, but only talking about mythological creatures. Like so you're like, doing it. No, this is a friend from a friend from a friend. So you're going to talk about only like like Loch only Monster. like werewolves, only like obscure like Air how Bud. Like Air people Bud. that people yeah. that actually hunt vampires and stuff. Bill Goldberg, yeah, Bill Goldberg, uh, Danny Trejo, and uh, <laughs> Danzig, and uh, Shadow from Homeward Bound. You know, my, uh, okay. my publicist hasn't hit me up about Danzig yet, so that's good. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> yeah, I haven't, had, I haven't heard anything about it. About, That's a great uh, trailer. That's a great. Dude, I can't wait for people. Movie. Do you know how many people DM me this week with this with simply just saying, "Come and sit on Danzig lap." <laughs> <laughs> dude, I've gotten so many DMs. And by the way, I'll say this: uh, we, we, I sent a te- you sent you a text with with the pre- they confirmed that that was a real story. Yeah, yes. I sent yeah. you guys the text, and it was actually it was actually 
come take a seat on Danzig's lap, which is even better. It's just, you change a couple of words and it just makes it choice. Anyway, right. <laughs> uh, uh, anywhere you get podcasts, be sure to, uh, to subscribe. Uh,